Hi, Greg Suddy, Suddy on Soccer. I am here with Christian Philly Philemon. Uh, my friend, you have been just killing it on your uh, podcast videos with the different players around the league. Talk a little bit about how that's gone. Well, I certainly appreciate you saying that. And, and the one thing I didn't account for this morning, I woke up, had my Wheaties, had my Starbucks, didn't think I'd be fortunate enough to be on Suddy on Soccer. <laughs> nice. Now I really feel like I've arrived here in MASL. So thank you, sir. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. But yeah, no, the, the different players that you've talked to um, all around the league and the different conversation that you've had and talking with Jimmy recently, the whole thing. Talk a little bit just about some of those conversations. I mean, the conversations were fantastic. I mean, you get to watch the players on the field and you see their personalities that way. And then you see them face-to-face -face via Zoom and then you get to see another side of them. All right. compelling interviews, all of them exciting. I, I loved, I mean, you, you sense Ian Bennett's energy on the pitch, Absolutely. but talking to him, that energy's still there. Leo Gibson, we had a great conversation. Didn't know that we would extend it to 24 minutes. That was the raw uncut time and then talking to legends like Craig Childs I mean I've been very fortunate Uzi Tayu yep. I mean Max Ferdinand Freddie yep. Mugin who's going to be here tonight I yep. mean this is had a, been having a great week what can I say well and this is the first night of this season in ASL playoffs everybody makes the cut you guys are the Ontario Fury are playing the Dallas sidekicks what's going on tonight Look, it's, it's, we've seen March Madness. If you guys are college basketball fans, shocking things have happened. The Oral Roberts is of the world. You right. don't want to look at any opponent or you look beyond any opponent. Yeah, maybe Vegas will factor in that Ontario should be the winner. But Dallas right. is, has nothing to lose. They're going to play with their hearts on fire. They have an opportunity to get back to the Allen Event Center, a place where they have this season been playing much better. Right. So anything can happen. You don't want to look at anybody. You don't want to look past anybody. Look, everybody's got a fighter's right. chance. We've learned that from Rocky Balboa. Nice, nice. And uh, you got to be a laugh on that one. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, and, and, and you hit and you nailed it right there with, uh, you know, you don't want to look past anybody. And that happens in professional sports a lot. In the early stages of a playoff season, oftentimes that top seed team will look past to the next set into the, the next uh, session of, of games and who they're going to play next but you can't do that. No, I grew up a Mets, a Jets, a Knicks, and an Islanders fan. Okay. I am not a glory chaser. I don't look past anybody because today is the only day that matters. Yeah, absolutely. And then after today, on Sunday, you guys are going to be going down to, uh, to Dallas, playing the Dallas Sidekicks. Um, we don't know what that's going to look like, but we'll be looking at this before that game takes place. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching Study on Soccer. Kristen, thanks for talking to me. Thanks guys. for having me on. This is a joy.